What's up guys, Amog is back in the game, so welcome to a little extra special video <laughs> to the topic The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. So what I want to talk about, so this is not a usual gameplay video, so there will not be actual gameplay, I will probably put it in the background so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, what I want to do, I want to talk about the characters, so I don't know how long I will use uh, how long it will take to talk about each character, so I think I might do one episode per character. If it, I only can talk like five minutes about one character, I will do all of them in one. I put together some bullet points for me, what I want to talk about. So let's see how long this actually takes. So what I want from you guys, I want feedback from you, what you think. So this is this is my theory what I want to talk about so I want to talk about all their special abilities <laughs> and what they meant for me and what they possibly what possibly was the reason they got them and everything like that so so the whole backstory from the characters I think that's really interesting for this game because the actors did a really really great job so yeah I would say we I keep bumping into my into my <laughs> microphone um actually i want to start with bryce because yeah i i started a lot with him like asking him so i just want to go the usual order from them i will start with bryce so what i found really interesting in bryce like he was he he had a development throughout the whole game like from the beginning i i thought he was kind of confident he was like hey i have an extra hour i'm so cool and in the end he was really paranoid he felt chased by the the strange hooded figure that we will talk about a little bit later so it was really interesting to to watch and to to witness his development throughout the whole game so i thought this was pretty cool but the extra hour so all of the characters had their special abilities and Bryce had his extra hour. In this hour, everything else around him would, would freeze. He was the only one, the only person who was able to walk around freely. So he tried, first of all, he wanted to, to use it to do some extra work, to, to get more work done. But he got more confident with his extra hour. I'm not talking now about if I believe this or not, but he got more confident about this and and he tried other things so he started to steal he undressed his neighbor because he really liked her he wanted to see her naked he undressed her took pictures <laughs> that's a pretty interesting thing interesting thing actually to think about how those pictures actually came to life without he having his extra hours so this is something like i i thought a lot about this because how is this possible if he did not have an extra hour uh, he has to he had to to take the picture somehow and how did he manage to undress her he claimed that she was frozen she was undressing herself he helped her a little bit <laughs> and then took the pictures but well one of you actually commented on the video dude you are way too f too stuck in reality this is a game you have to think about what actually would be if those persons have this ability and this is something i really thought about this a lot uh, the game continually like it had me one minute i was like <laughs> they are all insane it's just not possible they do not have these abilities and a minute later one of the answers told left me like you know what maybe maybe it's true maybe he really has this ability and this was something the game did really go throughout the, the whole thing I, i'm still not sure what to believe but let's just think about he well, if he had this extra hour, it's not big, not a big deal, right? She was frozen, he did this. End of story. But let's for a second think about what would be if he did not have this extra ability. Like this extra hour, nothing was frozen. How in the world could he manage to take a picture of her and undress her, take pictures of her naked? This is something I I really I'm really interested about how this came to life. If you think about, he did not have an extra hour. 
I can't think of a possibility. Well, I can think of some. Actually, maybe, yeah, she was undressing herself. He took pictures through the window. That's definitely possible. We've never seen the pictures, so no idea what's true. And, like, maybe he did it. I don't know. This, maybe he did it like this. Or, I don't know. Well, actually, that's the only, <laughs> that's the only possibility I can think about. Because otherwise, we have to, to take the fact that he has this ability. Or maybe you can come up with another solution. Let me know. That would be really cool. I, I really thought about this a lot, but I can't come up with more stuff about this. So, yeah, let me know. Um, another thing about Bryce was like, what I said in the beginning, he felt more and more chased throughout the game. So he started one, one session with, I'm being followed. There's another one in my extra hour. I'm not alone anymore. And this hooded figure that had no face, how we later, how he later told us, uh, he there are two possibilities. So, of course, again the thing there's no extra hour. He dreamt he had a nightmare, and like maybe it was his subconsciousness telling him about the bad stuff he did, like stealing and everything without having his extra hour. If we think about it this way. His subconsciousness le let him have nightmares about this and he felt chased because of this. Or there was this other thing kind of in the end where he said that he's he had Dr. Decker's body. Because he said no, bur to bury him is not enough. He's the pure evil, we have to cremate him. So. He thought maybe this this extra hooded figure in his extra hour was either deaf to, I don't know, punish him or Dr. Decker because he wanted, he wanted revenge for him stealing his body. Nothing of this makes sense in any way. I mean, if you think about he really has this ability, it does make sense in the end. It really does. But if you don't, if you think about, no, he did not have this fucking ability. It doesn't, it, it makes the sense like in the way of having nightmares. So I really, that's actually what, what I really think. He took the pictures from her like through the window and, and he had nightmares because he had such a guilty conscience. That's really what I think about this. But there's another topic with him. Like, with with Claire, I will talk about Claire in another episode, I think. So, with Iris, Claire's husband, I have, to I have to say that much, Claire's husband had an affair with Iris. That's why it happened what happened. And Dr. Decker told both of them, and that's the part where I really, I'm really stuck for an answer, told both of them that Iris is in his basement and he said and no no wait I'm wrong Dr. Decker never told Bryce Bryce followed Dr. Decker because he didn't trust him at all and he went into his basement and saw her there so Bryce says he saw Iris without or he saw a girl at least in chains I assume it was Iris and I t we told him this in the game actually I assume it was Iris because later with Claire, Dr. Decker lured Claire into his basement by saying Iris is there and I will talk about what happened in another episode but actually yeah both of them had this had the same thing or oh, what I just come up with actually there's one possibility I don't really know if this ever happens this is really far-fetched I guess like Claire never saw Iris. Dr. Decker called her and said she's gone. So maybe Bryce heard of this and heard that um, Dr. Decker said something to Claire, maybe from Dr. Decker himself or from Claire or he overheard it somehow, I don't know why or how. This is a definitely a possibility and then he put this again into his dream, into his nightmare, thinking about this that he has to to go after Dr. Decker and then 
found Iris actually in the basement because because he just thought she was there because later we heard from Claire that Iris claims that she never that, that she was never in Dr. Decker's basement which really makes me think even more that Bryce don't have an abil doesn't have an ability because yeah actually I I came now up with a lot more stuff doing talking because you actually hear yourself say it I came up with more stuff than thinking silently about it um, it makes all sense like he took the pictures through through the I don't know through the window while she was undressing and nobody follows him actually it was just a dream just a nightmare because his his guilty conscience made everything up Iris the same thing so this all makes sense actually that he yeah he's just insane <laughs> that's actually my my point of view by now so I, I and I don't have other points so this is actually everything I got from him or for him and that really that really all makes sense and let me and yeah, it leads me to the conclusion that nothing ever really happened because Yeah, the pictures were real definitely because Bryce told us he showed them to his neighbor that he took the pictures off and she like she went mad I mean, I fully understand that But so the pictures were definitely real So he had to take them somehow But yeah, like I said, maybe he had another opportunity he definitely did not went into her apartment and took them un like after undressing her himself. <laughs> I really don't think so. So yeah, actually that's my theory for Bryce. Um I would I would well, now everything's fine again. Um I just had to fix my microphone. It was like falling over. Um, yeah, that's my theory of this whole thing. I would really love to hear your theories. Everything that you... that If something I just said doesn't make sense to you, just let me know. I'm really, really interested in the backstory of those characters. And I really want to know more. And maybe I just don't think about something. Or you have another really great um, reasoning for the other side. Like, hey, he definitely has this ability because... So that would be really cool to 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 hear, to to read actually. <laughs> um, so just let me know down in the comments. I'm really interested in this. So yeah, this was the first my first episode about Bryce. Let me know if this was interesting for for you. If you really want more about this, because I really want to lose of all the six characters, including Jaya. Um, to to like think about this and and just talk about what I think makes the most sense for me. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll end this episode right here. I really hope that you liked this. If you did, hit the like button down below, leave me a comment, and then I will see you again in the next episode of the Infectious Madness of Doctor Decker. Doctor Decker was murdered. Doctor Decker thought one of his patients was trying to kill him. I'd heard Doctor Decker was stabbed, but I didn't know for sure. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? All Dr. Decker did was encourage me to think. Do you think I killed my parents? Why? Because I stabbed my husband? Decker was a dangerous...